Hi. We see a lot of patients in the clinic complaining of shoulder pains. And it's not surprising actually, because it's estimated that 70% of people will, will suffer from shoulder pain at one stage in their lives. And another statistic that's come out is that once you have the shoulder pain, almost 50% of patients will still have it 12 months after the onset of the pain. So it's something that persists for a long, long time once you have it. Hi, my name is Jasper and I'm a chiropractor at uh, Milton and Fordham Chiropractic Clinics. We're located on the outskirts of Barrys and Edmonds and, and Cambridge. And um, today I'd like to show you a few tests so you can find out if you have a shoulder problem, what's actually causing the shoulder problem. Because we need to know what's causing it first before we can do any, give you any help, before you can give yourself any help with it. So um, I'm going to give you a few tests uh, to find out which structure is causing the shoulder pain. And we're going to go from top to bottom. So the first structure that actually causes you a shoulder pain is your neck. Shoulder pain can arise from your neck, especially if you're suffering from a radiculopathy, which is essentially a nerve which is being pinched in the neck. And you know when you have a radiculopathy because you have this shooting pain from your, from your neck into your shoulder, into your elbow, into your arm, sometimes even to your fingers. And, and the test you can do is what we call the foraminal compression test. And what you need to do, so say my right shoulder is the affected, is the affected side, is you need to turn your head to the right and then tilt your head backwards. And if that reproduces your shoulder pain, this can also give you a pain between the shoulder blades. If that reproduces it, then most likely your shoulder pain stems from, from your neck. So something needs to be done with your, uh, your neck. The second structure that can cause a shoulder pain is a structure that we call the brachial plexus. And that's a, a structure, an anatomical structure, um, consists of nerves and blood vessels, and it runs essentially from your neck into your shoulder. And it can be get compressed here. It can be compressed by, by a, a muscle, or it can be compressed by the clavicle, or it can be uh, compressed by, uh, by the first rib even. And the test we need to do to determine if the brachial plexus is the cause of your shoulder pain is what we call the ruse test. Now, with the ruse test, what you need to do is stick your arms up like this, 90 degree in the shoulder, 90 degree in your elbows, then pull your arms back a little bit. So you pull your arms a little bit. And then what you do for three minutes is you open and shut your hands. Now, this test is positive if you have a heaviness or a weakness in the arms, or if you get numbness and tingling in the hands. Now, you will get obviously tired when you do this. So you're looking for, for really heaviness and, and the weakness in the arms for three minutes. If that's positive, then your shoulder pain might be caused by a compression of the brachial plexus. Um, the third uh, structure that can cause a shoulder problem is a, um, a tear in one of the rotator cuff muscles. So the rotator cuff muscles are muscles that surround the joint and keep the, the, the joint into place. And uh, I'll, I'll give, you, give you the two most common ones. The commonest, uh, the commonest tear of a muscle in the rotator cuff is in a muscle called the supraspinatus. And what we do for this one is the empty can test. So what you do with this is you straighten out your arm, you point your thumb towards the ground, so you get like a 30 degree angle front here. And then with the other hand, you apply a little bit of pressure and you resist it. And if this is sore, then most likely you've got a tear in uh, one of the rotator cuff muscles called the supraspinatus. The other test we can do for another muscle part of the rotator cuff is the infraspinatus. And what you do, the test that you do to test if you have a tear in this muscle is you put your elbow into your side, you turn your arm out a little bit, you hold it here, and with the other hand, you pull, and you see if this inflicts you a pain in your shoulder. Now, if it does, it's an infraspinatus tear uh, in the, uh, causing your, uh, your, your, your shoulder problem. Um, another structure which might cause you an issue is the AC joint. And the AC joint is located on top of your shoulder. So you go, if you come up from your, for your upper arm, you feel like a hard structure, a bony bit, and you go in about half an inch, and you feel a little bit of a, of a, uh, of a dip. And that's the AC joint. That's commonly affected uh, with people who, um, who push weights, uh, weightlifters and stuff, especially with shoulder presses, up and down. And also, we see a lot of traumatic events, for example, with cyclists, when they land, when they fall off the bike and they land on the shoulder, you often see here, well, almost like a step defect, like your shoulder is a bit lower than your clavicle. 
That's the AC joint here. So the tests you can do to determine if your pain is actually caused by the AC joint is the pull apart test. And what you do is you interlock your fingers and you literally just pull apart as hard as you can. Now, and if you get a little bit of an ache top of your shoulder, it's probably an AC joint. Something can be done about it, we can help you with it, uh, but that's where your, your problem comes from, the AC joint. Um, it could also, also be a bit of osteoarthritis. Uh, you need to be really a bit older for that, maybe having had a trauma in the past in your shoulder. Um, a lot of grinding goes on. I'm not talking about the occasional clicking when you move your arm, but it's the grinding stuff. That is a bit of a telltale sign as well for osteoarthritis. Um, and you can have an impingement. An impingement is actually one of the tendons within the shoulder joint in the area which get impinged so when your your uh, your shoulder decreases its space and the tendon becomes stuck essentially now the test you can do for that on the right side is literally put your right hand on your left shoulder and then raise your arm up and if this is sore then you most likely have got an impingement in the shoulder itself uh, or you can do the drop arm test where the, the arm is you, you lift the arm up using the other hand all the way up and you bring it down and a drop arm test this means you get to a stage where it gets really sore and you actually you can't keep it up you can't keep your arm up yourself you need to go oh like that you have this painful arc that's a positive sign as well for a, for a uh, an impingement um because so first thing we need to know what's actually causing your shoulder problems uh, then we can help there's a few things we can do for you to to help there's a few bits you can do as well uh, to help uh, there will be videos coming out uh, what you can do as well so so stay tuned um and good luck with this thank you Bye for now. Bye-bye.